Hello everyone and welcome to today's IKEA Come Shop With Me and also a little haul. Um, I have got a lemon tea today. I used to drink this loads when I was a child. It's something my mum always used to, to buy. I think, is it Lipton's lemon tea? I'm not sure, but you can have it hot or cold. Um, I prefer it hot, really. Um, my son has been having it cold and actually says it's really nice. Has it with ice and things, but mm. it's really refreshing and quite cosy. I'd like to find some kind of like cinnamon syrup because I think the cinnamon and the lemon would just be delicious. So yes, cosy up, um, get your favourite drink of choice and get ready for today's video. Um, I just want to say before I get into this, I've had a few questions about my fireplace behind if I move. So this is actually a bioethanol fire. I wanted a real fireplace when we moved in, but the cost to have a chimney breast with a flue was just, it was going to be thousands. But growing up, um, I had relatives that had real fires and it brings back loads and loads of memories for me. And this, to be honest with you, was the closest I could get without having to spend thousands of pounds. So we did have a carpenter when we first moved in who built this chimney breast, you can just kind of see it there, who built it so it came out, but also recessed the TV in. And I found this fireplace on a website called Imagine Fires. I will link this one below, but I did have a look before I came on and it is actually out of stock at the moment. But I think at the moment it's on offer for $6.99. And basically you buy bioethanol um, liquid, which you can buy from their website, which I normally do, to be honest with you, because I find them fairly cheap. I think it comes in litre bottles and you can also get it in scents. So I think there's vanilla. And then I think last year I ordered like a pine kind of Christmassy scent. So all you do is literally, if I show you, literally pour it into this reservoir here and then you just set fire to it. And basically it burns off the bioethanol, um, creates a heat. If we shut the door so the heat is just contained in this living room it actually does get really really warm it's quite surprising um and i absolutely love this fireplace i absolutely love it i just love the simplicity of it and i love the fact that i can have essentially what is a real fire there's um because it's bioethanol it doesn't produce any smoke um fumes or anything like that it just literally burns off the bioethanol so yeah i just thought i would mention that because i have had quite a few people ask me about um the fireplace and obviously i've started doing a few of my videos now in front of it just because i think it feels christmasy i have got a pumpkin candle lit because i've only actually i think lit that twice and it is actually quite a nice scent so i've got that lit and i just yeah i, I kind of like it i've got my little basket here of logs to make it look like it's a real fire um yeah and i just love it i just think it's cozy but yeah i just thought i'd mention that in case any of you are interested and like i said i will link it below right so my trip to ikea i don't feel like i've been in quite a while I think the last time I went was quite early on when they started putting out autumn decks and I wanted to see kind of like what they had. So I was really intrigued to go and have a look and see what the Christmas decks were like because I do really like their Christmas decks. I think they're really lovely. So I did film a little bit of what is new in store because obviously I've only bought so much. So I'll insert those clips now and you can have a look around the store at what is new in. Something's tugging at my sleeve I do believe it's Christmas It's cold outside but I'm warm within Cause Christmas time is here Playing in the snow 
a merry game they play chasing each other to and fro laughing all the way Day, you came my way that was upon a long ago. The Bethlehem star must have shown the way that led you to me. Now, from my love and a little help from above, we've raised our little.
let's get into this haul. So the first thing I bought now, I did find that some of the decorations are quite steep in price, but I saw this and I really like the idea of it. So as you go into my kitchen, you have got a wall in front of you with um, a radiator underneath. It's kind of like the other side of the island. And at the moment, I've got a big picture. Now, I was planning on changing that print for like an autumnal print. But then I saw this and I thought, actually, this would be really, really lovely. So this is the range Winterfint. I think they do quite a lot of things in this range. And it is essentially a Christmas tree. If I show it around the other side, give you a close up. So it's just basically, I think like a fabric frame and then it's got these wooden bits across and then you can obviously decorate it as you want. Now I just thought that this would look really, really lovely as you walk into the kitchen, bit of a statement piece. And I'm gonna decorate this, not too sure how yet. I'm just seeing if it actually says the dimensions. But I don't think it does, which that's quite annoying actually, isn't it? Why would it not give the dimensions? They did have one of these out and I would say it was around about a metre in length. Um, yeah, I think it was around about a metre. It's so just a shame that it doesn't actually give the dimensions on the box, but never mind. But yeah, I don't know how I'm going to style this yet. Um, I've got a few ideas, but I just think it would look really lovely in the kitchen and just like a statement piece. So, and the best part was this was six pounds, which I was actually quite shocked about, to be honest with you, because the other de decorations they had, I thought some of them were on the steep side. So I thought six pounds was quite good for this. So that is the first thing that I picked up. I picked up two different sets of baubles. Now, I always do this. I pick up something around the store that I really like. I always go to the bit at the end where they have loads and loads of reductions. And if they tend to have what I've got in my bag, but reduced, then I put it back. Well, who wouldn't? So I originally had these in my bag. These are again, the Vinterfit range and so I obviously had a brand new pack in my bag. I presume this is just because the box is ripped. I don't really care about that. I doubt I'll keep them in this box. They were seven pounds and I got these for four pounds, which I think is a bargain. Now these baubles, they actually had them out and they were really, really lovely. They're really like, I know it sounds really strange to say, but like a really glossy bauble. And yeah, I just really, really love these and I saved myself money, um, three pounds. I mean, definitely worth it. And then I found these. Now, this was the only box that I could see. Let me just see if the price, because I didn't actually know the price of these. See, it's so hard to work out what something is. I think these, actually, no, they were reduced to four pounds. So it can't be that. Right, I think these were £4 as well, actually, which kind of seems a bit steep because these are tiny. But this will give you an idea. So they are mixed inside, but this will give you an idea of what the other one is like. If I could pick it up, it's teeny tiny. But I just really, really love it. Really gorgeous, rich colour. So yes, I got a load of small ones to match but obviously these come in different finishes it's matte and so there's that one and there's also that matte one but my favorite is that glossy one i absolutely love the richness of the color so yeah they were four pounds as well and that was the only box i couldn't see them anywhere i next picked up some of these you can't not pick these up. I pick them up every single time I go, but I got some itty, itty bitty ones this time because I've got lots of different sizes. But actually, I think these will come in really, really handy. So you get a box of 25 and they are really small. They are 0 0.3 litres, 10 ounce bags. Let's see if it says how much these were. 
these were £1.50 so I think a really good price and I know they're coming really handy okay I then picked up some jumbo ones again I had these in my bag and then when I got to the reduction section they had them it's a split bag I'm not honestly bothered by that I'm more bothered about saving myself some money so these were originally three pounds and I got them for two these are the six litre and 4.5 litre I don't think I actually have this larger size so I didn't have the really really large ones and I also didn't have the small so they would definitely come in handy and like I said I use these all the time I just find they come in so handy for so many different things and I don't actually really use them probably for what most people use them for I never use them for sandwiches or anything like that um I do use them if I open like a pack of ham I will keep them in there to keep them fresh so I'm more using them for that sort of thing and then I found this garland let me see if I can find the price this was £1.50 so again I thought this is a really good price it is again by the Vinter Fint range and it's this gorgeous heart paper garland. Let's see if I can open. It comes in two different colours. So you've got a darker red and a lighter red. And I just thought these were lovely. Really simple on jute string. Um, I don't know if I use them for Christmas time. But I just thought, I don't know, even like one year for Valentine's Day or something. I just absolutely love them. And I love the fact that they are paper and £1.50 is a bargain. How could I not get some of the meatball jam? I always pick up a jar of this when I go. We don't have meatballs that often, but when I do, I have to have the jam with it. So got a jar of that. I also find this cloth. I just thought this would be really, really handy. And I think this, yeah, 25p. You can't go wrong. 25p for a cloth. And it's also Christmassy. Got the red around it. I should have picked up more, but that was the only one I could find. Now these were new in and I find this a little bit frustrating because it's worded as a jar but it doesn't have a lid and I did have a look everywhere and I couldn't find one and I just thought Do you know what I'm just going to get them and I'm going to think of another way of making a like a jam jar lid. I might use you know like the old fashioned if you made um, jam with the paper or the fabric and the elastic band round I might do that but these are so adorable you could even use these as little shot glasses you know they've got like a little rim around the edge I really love these I got three of them Let's see how much they were three these were a pound each so I think a real bargain now the reason why I picked these up is I am making, well, every year I like to make a hot chocolate station for the kids and I've got like this wooden tiered tray thing. So I did buy some little jars from Asda the other day, which do have lids. And I think those are a pound each. They're tall ones, but I wanted some different heights. And I just thought these would be adorable with, I don't know, chocolate sprinkles in them, um, some marshmallows. I think actually I filled up the tall one from Asda with the marshmallows. But I thought these would look really cute on my tiered tray. And for a pound each, I thought they were a bargain. So yeah, I might get some Christmassy fabric and just do a circle and then use an elastic band. And I think then it will hopefully keep it fresh. I just find it a bit odd, really, that it's, it's worded as a jar, but there's no lid. Even if it was a cork lid, I think it would look really, really lovely in this, but nothing. So whether these are new out and they've just not put them out yet or whether this is a lidless jar, I don't know, but I love them. I kind of get drawn to anything that's like itty bitty, like teeny tiny. I just think it looks cuter. And then talking about itty bitty and teeny tiny, I had to get one of these. I actually thought that this again would look cute on the tiered tray. Um, I don't want to put loads and loads of things on the tiered tray, but... I just thought this was like would give a little bit of greenery and I thought this was super cute this was actually dumped somewhere I didn't see this anywhere like as in loads of them around the store somebody had just dumped this how much was it okay so this was £1.50 
and I just think it's really, really cute. You could get some of those like lights that are on the wire and just wrap that around and then kind of conceal, conceal the um, like battery pack somewhere on the tiered tray. But yeah, I absolutely love that. It's cute and it's tiny. So yeah, that concludes my little Ikea haul. I do love going to Ikea and I especially love Ikea at Christmas. I just love all their little bits. They did, which I was tempted to get, but I didn't. And because I'm sure I'll go back to Ikea before um, like Christmas is up. But they did have some gingerbread houses that you could make. And I'm sure they were only like something like £2.95 or something like that. The only thing is we have tried making gingerbread houses in the past and it always ends up being a disaster. It always ends up falling to pieces. But in store, they do actually have, and I don't know how it's worded. I don't think it's sugar glue, but it's classed as... I'm not sure. It's basically for gingerbread houses for like gluing them together. Whereas in the past, I've always used icing. So I don't know if that is the secret. It does come in a tube, so it would obviously be easy to apply. So yeah, I might give that a go because I do, I do really like the look of gingerbread houses. I just think they look absolutely adorable eh? and it just feels very Christmassy. But I don't know, because obviously we're not going to be here for Christmas, so it would have to be kind of eaten before or I just have it for display. I don't know. But yes, I really hope that you have enjoyed this. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Um, I am so close to reaching a thousand subscribers and if you guys could help me get that I would so appreciate it. I would love to hit a thousand possibly before Christmas. That would be just like a huge kind of like goal for me. When I started this channel and you start off with such a low amount of subscribers it seems like such a million miles away and I think I've been doing this now for about a year it's probably just over a year actually. I would love to hit a thousand and if you guys can help me that would just be absolutely awesome. So yeah I hope you enjoyed this. Take care everybody and I will see you really soon in the next one. Bye!